What is up guys, welcome back to another flea market garage video. If you guys are enjoying the videos, go ahead and hit that like button and let me know, it helps the channel grow. Go ahead and drop a comment down below, I try to respond to all the comments I can and hit that sub button if you guys are not already and you guys do enjoy these videos. So let's go see what we can find at the flea market this week. Twenty five. Five dollars each. All right, so you guys saw I picked up those consoles for five dollars each, but I also picked these games up for four bucks. GTA Five on the PS4. This one I got kind of as a joke uh, for three bucks. Uh, my sister's always talking about Crazy Frog, so I kind of just got that one because it's funny. Got Shinobi for three bucks. Uh, Battlefront Two on the original Xbox Black Label Complete for five. And then this one I got just because I actually want to try this one out. Um, I'm not a big fan of arena fighting games, but I'm a big fan of My Hero Academia. So I grabbed it for 10 bucks. I mean, that's probably like about what it's worth, but it's something that I wanted. So let's go see what else we can grab. All right, guys, we are back, and I'm going to show you guys everything I picked up this weekend. But first, before we get started, I just want to give a huge shout out to Owner to Owner. Um, I've bought stuff from them before in the past and shout them out before. Um, that is where this shirt behind me comes from. They, they actually posted on their story um, talking about their new shop that they opened. Uh, congrats on that. And I saw this in the background hanging up on the wall. So when I seen it, I knew I had to have it. Luckily, it was a size XL. It was my size. So I had to go grab it, uh, traded in some stuff to get it. I did not have to pay the full price that was asked. they were asking for it. This is definitely one I wanted for my personal collection. Um, as you can see, it's a Final Fantasy 70. You got Cloud on the back. Down here, it has like his little, it says name, Cloud, job, former soldier, age 21, which I did not know Cloud was 21. A weapon sword, a big one. Pipe, 173 centimeters, blood type, a, B. That one's actually single stitch. You see you got the little square soft logo right there on the sleeve. Um, it's on an Onita tag. On the front you got Final Fantasy 7. So I just wanted to give a huge shout out to them. Definitely go follow them on Instagram and if you're in the DFW area definitely go check out their shop. This is one I have wanted in my collection for a while and I finally got it. I might throw this in the thumbnail but I don't know yet. I don't want to be one of those people. But with that out the way, now let's go ahead and jump into the flea market grass for this weekend. So let's start off with the video games like I usually do. So first video game for five bucks, I picked up a black label complete copy of Star Wars Battlefront 2. I know this game is not as worth as much as it used to be. This used to be like a $40, $45 game all day long. Now I'll probably be lucky to get 20 for it. But I figured a uh, black label with the manual, still in good shape. Go ahead and grab that one for five bucks. These three came from the same vendor. I paid $3 each on them. Now, actually I paid $4 for one and $3 for the other two, so $10 total. So the one I paid $4 for is a copy of GTA 5 on the PS4. I do already own this game, but it's on the Xbox One. So I don't need this one, but I figured for only four bucks, I'd go ahead and uh, pick it up. And then the two I got for $3 a piece are both PS2 games. This one <laughs> I kind of got as a joke uh, because my sister's always talking about Crazy Frog. So when I seen this, I kind of wanted it. He wanted three bucks for it. I just gave it to him. I was like, whatever. Um, it's Crazy Fog Racing on the PS2. And that one is complete. Uh, this one's probably not worth nothing, but it's just uh, something I wanted to grab because I thought it was funny. And then the last one I got, again, another PS2 game. And that is a copy of Shinobi on the PS2. And that one is complete with the manual as well. So that's those three for 10 bucks. The next one I picked up, I know it's probably only worth about like 15 bucks, but I wanted this one uh, to actually play for myself. And that is a copy of My Hero 1's Justice on the PS4. This is one I've actually been wanting for a while. I'm not the biggest fan of arena fighting games, but I am a big fan of My Hero Academia. So this is one I've been wanting to try out. So I figured finding it for 10 bucks, I just grab it anyway for my personal collection. And then these last two I've got because they were only $5 a piece. 
Um, and I've actually been wanting to play one of these. So the first one I got is Neo. No, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it was a PS4 game for five bucks. Um, my friend said it was pretty good, so I went ahead and scooped that one up. And then the second one I picked up is Attack on Titan, which I heard this game was actually pretty decent. So I figured for only $5, I'd go ahead and grab that one as well. So that's all the video games, but I actually have some consoles to show you guys. So this first group of consoles that I'm about to show you, I paid $50 total for. So let me show you guys what I got for $50. So the first thing I actually grabbed in that bundle is this PS4 right here. As you can see, it is missing the faceplate that goes on top. Uh, when I found this, I was like, there's no way it's gonna work. Um, but for 15 bucks, even if it doesn't, I could sell it for parts for more than that. Um, got home, plugged it up. All my wires already hooked up for my PS4, so it was just simple plugging in the wires. And it works great. The disk drive works. It has the hard drive in it and everything. So I got a working PS4 for only 15 bucks, and I think this plate's only like $10 on eBay. So I'm gonna go ahead and order one, and then yeah, I'll have another working PS4 for only for like $25 total. Next thing I got from that guy. Um, part of the bundle was a black GameCube control. Always gonna pick these up if I find them for cheap. Sticks and everything, buttons are all good. So um, I was happy to grab that. The third thing I got in that bundle is the Street Fighter 4 arcade stick right here. Always cool to find these arcade sticks, um, especially a Street Fighter one. So I was happy to grab that. And then the last four things I got in that bundle is not one, not two, but four. <laughs> Uh, PS3 controls. These are probably worth like 20 bucks each. So um, just that probably alone was worth the 50 bucks. But throw in the fight stick, the PS4, and the GameCube control, um, I think it was a pretty decent deal. So <laughs> after finding that bundle of consoles and stuff, I was like, there's no other bundle that's gonna beat that this weekend. But then the next day, I went to the other flea market I go to, um, and I found this next bundle. I paid $25 total for all the stuff I'm about to show you guys right now. So let me show you, and you guys tell me which bundle you think was better, the $50 one I just showed you, or the $25 one I'm about to show you right now. So we'll start off with the controls we got a regular black ps2 control right here and then i have the uh, smoke gray ps2 control so that's the first two things you got a ps2 fat right here i haven't checked them to see if there's a game in here yet i haven't plugged it up but it did come with the power supply uh just no av cable but playstation av cables are super easy to find they're all over the place so that's the first one second console we got is a ps2 slim right here i think this one has a game in it uh call of duty finest hour <laughs> not the finest game but it's a game. Um, again, this one came with the power supply as well, no AV cables. Third console, we got another PS2 Slim. I think this one also has a game in it. It is Ace Combat 4. Again, not a great game, but this one came with the power supply, no AV cables. Then the last console I got in the $25 bundle is a Super Nintendo, but as you can see, this thing's pretty dirty. It's not yellowed, it's just really dirty. Um, it's still gray, which is good. Unfortunately, this one did not come with the new wires. Um, I would have liked if this one came with the power supply because now I have to find a power supply. Um, again, the AV cables are super easy to find for this because they're the same for the GameCube, Super Nintendo, N64. I probably have a couple of extras. I probably have an extra power supply too. And I doubt this thing um, is messed up. I usually never have an issue with these. So for only five bucks, I was happy with that. So yeah, I got all that for 25. So let me know what bundle you thought was better, the first one I showed or the second one. And then the last two gaming items I got, paid a dollar each for these, two more GameCube controls. We got an Indigo one and another black one. Unfortunately, this black one, the wire is messed up in one spot. I don't feel like looking for it. So it might not work, but even if it doesn't, I can use the parts off of it, the buttons and the sticks and stuff to fix some of the ones I have. Like I said, anytime I find cheap GameCube controls, I'm gonna buy them, especially for a dollar. Also picked up a couple of toys. Uh, let me show you guys. So I actually picked one up last week that I forgot to show you guys. It's it was a 1996 Pure Midas uh, Zord from Power Ranger Zio. I posted it on Instagram, but I forgot to put it in the video when I recorded the video. I do still have it though. Um, but I'm saying that because this week I found another Power Ranger Zord. This one's not as cool in my opinion, but it was only $2, I think. Two or three, I forgot already. And I don't even know what this is called or what series it's from, so you guys can let me know. But it's this one right here. I want to say it's like Toro Zord or something like that. I don't know, you guys can let me know. That one's from 1998. I think it's missing something that goes on his chest. I'm not 100% sure, but I figured for only $3, I go ahead and grab it. And he transforms into a bull, as you guys can see. Um, and then I guess one of the Power Rangers is supposed to be on his right on his back with the ropes right here. I just thought it was pretty cool, so I grabbed it. And then for a dollar, I picked this one up. Not a lot of people talk about this show, and I remember really being into this show when I was younger. I was into Power Rangers, VR Troopers, and then this show, Beetleborgs. Uh, <laughs> So I picked this one up for only a dollar. Not in like the greatest shape, but I just thought it was kind of cool. So I went ahead and scooped that one up. And then the last toy I picked up, I paid five bucks for this one, which is probably kind of a lot, like thinking about it. But I thought it was pretty cool. And I'm not even into one piece like that. 
but um, I have a couple friends who are into it, so I figured one of them might want it. Um, it's this Luffy right here. You can see he has this big fist that spins when you push this thing, and he has like the smaller fist on the inside. He's missing his hat, which that's like one of his most iconic features, which kind of sucks. And he's from 2005, so I went ahead and just grabbed him. I picked up three hats this week as well. Uh, this first one I found, it was only a dollar, so I went ahead and picked it up. It's this one right here. It just says football is life on the front. You can ball sports on the side. Um, the upper is supposed to look like a football. You can see it has like the laces right there on the side. And then on the back it says the rest is just details. And there is the tag made in the USA. So I figured for only a buck I'd grab it. I don't even know what it's worth or anything. The second one I grabbed, I wish this one was a snapback. Unfortunately it is a fitted. Um, it's this Iverson Reebok hat right here. You just have the Iverson logo on the front. And then on the side, you have like the Bulldog right there. And that one, like I said, is by Reebok, seven and one half. Not the biggest fitted fan. I wear seven and three eight, so I won't be keeping this one. Um, but I ended up paying $3 for it. I need to start remembering the prices. And then the last one I picked up, I actually forgot. This was actually in that uh, $50 bundle that I got. So you could add this one to that bundle as well. I kind of just forgot because everything was video games and this was a hat which is kind of weird that he had this one hat and then all the electronics was whatever. It's this uh, Hoop It Up 3-on-3 three three hat right here and that one's actually by Sports Specialties, as you can see the tag. I found this hat one time in the past before. I might end up just keeping this one because I really don't have any white hats and this one's not too bad, it just needs a good cleaning. So I'm gonna try to clean this one up and um, I might end up just keeping this one, to be honest. Picked up one shirt. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's like a youth small. It might be even smaller than that. Uh, but it was just too cool to pass up for only 50 cents. That's what the guy was asking for it. Um, it's this Seto Kaiba Yu-Gi-Oh tee right here. You can see he's on the front and then he's like surrounded by his three blue eyes. So that's time to duel. I see so many people that uh, mistakenly think that every single Yu-Gi-Oh shirt that they find is from 1996. Uh, they're not from 1996, guys. They're just all dated 96. Like I've seen some people trying to sell like uh, newer like Dark Magician tees from like Hot Topic for like 50 bucks just because it has a 1996 copyright on it. It's crazy. But I thought this wasn't cool. That's why I went ahead and grabbed it. And just like usual, I saved the sneakers for last. I actually picked up two pairs this week. So the first pair I actually found, paid $25 for these. I think it was worth it. They are, they do need a little work, um, but definitely a classic. It's a pair of the True Blue threes right here. These are a size nine and a half. I actually already own them right here. So I don't need these. So I'm gonna clean these up and I'm gonna end up selling them. They do have a little cracking on the midsole as you can see, but that just happens with these threes. And also they have like a scuff right here. And then the other shoe has the same scuff in the same spot for some reason. But this is the newest release with the Nike Air on the back. So I figured even though they do need a good cleaning and a little work, uh, $25 is worth it. Here is the other one. Like I said, they have the scuff. This one's a little worse actually. That's not nothing that a little bit of white paint can't fix. The main issue with them is just they're kind of dirty. So I need to clean them up actually. I actually just got home from the flea market like an hour ago, so I haven't cleaned any of this stuff yet. But for 25 bucks for a classic colorway, uh, I thought it was a decent deal. And then the last item I grabbed for the week, paid 20 bucks for these. It's a pair of the Legend Blue Jordan 11s right here. And these ones are actually a size eight and a half. So again, these uh, need a good cleaning. Uh, but for only 20 bucks, I figured it was a decent deal. The left one is actually not too bad. It's the right one that has the flaw. And that flaw is this these scratches right here on the toe. It kind of sucks that they have this scratch in the patent leather like that. Um, but I'm pretty sure somebody would want these to like beat up or maybe even try to fix. So I was just like, man, for 20 bucks, I'll go ahead and take them and uh, see what I can do with them. So those are my flea market grabs for this weekend, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, Please hit that like button and let me know it helps the channel grow. Go ahead and drop a comment down below. I try to respond to all the comments I can and hit that sub button if you are not already. And I will see you guys next week with another one. So later. I'm a chef, chef too.